Hello, Nancy here and welcome to Hollywood Corner. In today's video we will be discovering the Stranger Things new monster theory. Stranger Things has a lot of great elements. The characters' journeys and the relationships between them are a huge part of the series. Along with that, the 80s nostalgia is on point, along with unending references to the pop culture of that era. However, there are substantial grounds for anyone who wants to say that the Dungeons and Dragons named monsters are actually the best part of Stranger Things. They're terrifying, and with each season, the fear factor only goes up. The demo Gorgon kicked things off in season 1, when it captured Will and terrorized the residents of Hawkins. Then, in season 2, the Mind Flayer descended on the small Indiana town. Season 3 was gross, as the Mind Flayer made a body for itself out of flayed people. And now, in season 4, Vecna revealed himself as the ultimate murderous villain. With that said, Vecna may be the mastermind, but he has to unleash a new monster if season 5 is going to improve upon its predecessors. The thing is, Stranger Things has already teased what that monster will be. The monster actually appeared off-camera in Season 4, Episode 7, The Massacre at Hawkins Lab. In the early part of that episode, Steve, Nancy, Eddie and Robin were in the Upside Down, when they felt an earthquake and heard something roar in the distance. Except, it wasn't a demo bat that uttered the menacing roar. Subtitles called it this creature, and it was clearly some kind of massive beast. In fact, the gang theorized that it was the monster's sheer size that caused the earthquake. The first hint about what the monster is came in episode 8, Papa, when Vecna showed Nancy a glimpse of the future. She saw Hawkins on fire and an army of monsters attacking the town. Amidst the army, she specifically referenced a giant monster with a gaping mouth. There are two large D&D monsters that would fit that bill, the Tarask and the Thessal Hydra. While the Tarask is twice as large as the Thessal Hydra, there's significant reason to believe that the Thessal Hydra, long for Hydra, will actually be the monster in Season 5. Ross Duffer said that while Byers is setting up us coming full circle back to Season 1, I think you'll see that with a couple of the character arcs, not just with Will. The characters have maybe made steps, like in the case of Will, but that journey isn't over yet. All of that is going to play a huge role as we try to wrap this thing up next season. Taking that comment into account could explain the monster situation in Season 5, so let's take a look at Will's D&D experiences in Season 1. In Season 1, Episode 1, the party was playing D&D, when Will fireballed the Demo Gorgon and didn't roll high enough. That foreshadowed how the Demo Gorgon kidnapped him. Then, at the end of Season 1, the party played D&D again. That time, they faced off against the Thessal Hydra. Will's fireball worked, and the party won their campaign. The thing is, that campaign hasn't come to fruition in reality yet. So taking the Duffer's comments into consideration, it would make perfect sense for that D&D game to come full circle in Season 5 and predict the appearance of the Thessal Hydra. After all, it is a huge monster with a gaping mouth. If the monster appears, it will also show the culmination of Will's growth in the final installment. If the Thessal Hydra campaign predicted anything, it showed that Will is going to hold his own against a monster and protect his party. So by all appearances, Eleven will deal with the super-powered Vecna. But Will is going to fight and defeat this new monster because what began with Will, will also end with Will. Make sure to watch the How Long Could You Survive Against Stranger Things Creatures video and the Last Words of Stranger Things Characters video. I promise you'll enjoy your time. Links are in the description, check them out.